Hi, this is Andrea Towers with TV Insider in the Hollywood branded Unbranded Lounge, and I am here with the cast of Star Trek Picard. Hi, guys. Um, I know that season three, which you already finished filming, is going to have a lot of returning cast members from Next Generation, including you, Gates. Uh, how has it been to bring this character back and reunite Dr. Crusher with uh, Captain Picard? Well, I mean, how hard is it to reunite <laughs> with this man? Seriously, right? Oh. I mean, just, you know, he's like catnip to women. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it was great, great fun. <laughs> And uh, I loved doing it. The characters hadn't seen each other for, what, 20, 25 years? Yeah, yeah 25 years. And uh, so it was fantastic, actually. Um, and are we going to see Dr. Crusher arguing some philosophical, uh, having some philosophical arguments with uh, Captain Picard <laughs> next You know, season? I don't know, but she's younger, she's wittier, she's more beautiful. She's like, no, actually, uh, you probably, <laughs> that's <laughs> not true. She's older and wiser, we hope, and just as argumentative as always, sadly. I'm sorry about that. But the, the discussions are often of a personal nature, um, family nature, you know, which I can't tell you about. Right. Not, even if I, not even if I'm really nice to you? <laughs> nope. Too personal. <laughs> Unless you mention Too personal. things like catnip. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Uh, now, Patrick, in the uh, season two finale, uh, you had that moment with Q, which I think was one of probably one of the best moments of the series. Uh, how is that exchange uh, going to affect uh, Captain Picard in season three? Well, um, I begin to learn that we are not the only people on the planet who have change somewhat in our time away. Um, Q has as well. And that's extraordinary for Picard, who believes that he understands him, he has his number, he knows exactly how to deal with him, how to handle him. But this isn't the same Q. And that what, I, I, and John's work is extraordinary, extraordinary. Is it fun just to come back and kind of play these characters with, especially with your returning uh, castmates, like all um, these years later? And, and you're playing the same characters, but in a totally different way. Everybody has evolved. All the characters have evolved uh, because we as people have evolved. And obviously that's going to be reflected in our characters. But we had a blast and laughed a lot and got silly as always and also had some very moving moment. Yeah. So I think the story is quite brilliant and very powerful, actually. I, I was thrilled with the story, and I hope the fans will be too. Well, I guess kind of related to that, I mean, I know, I know that you guys have finished shooting season three, so do you think that fans will be happy, excited, they'll be sad when, uh, you know, where everyone ends up at kind of the end of it all? I, I hope they will be happy, uh, excited. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think the excitement comes first and the happiness is the follow-up. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly right. You know, hopefully they'll be happy and have a lot of different reverberations from the work. We're happy. Yes. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> well, it, it makes a difference. It, <laughs> it makes a difference, you know. Um, when you like and or love and respect the people you're working with, it makes such a difference. It loosens you up, frees you up, it gives you more confidence. You can be bolder than you otherwise might have been. Sure. Right. Um, why do you think this franchise has endured for so many years through generations of fans that, you know, that stay with it, that find it, that come into it from, you know, their family loving it? I think that Star Trek helps everyone. They imagine a future and when people watch Star Trek, they somehow it helps many people to find the courage to go for that dream and actually do something to make. It encourages people to, to believe that there's a future. It encourages people to think and the Lord knows we need a future and thought going forward because uh, these are not um, 
these are dark times in their in in life, and so yeah. Star Trek brings hope, which is fantastic. Yeah, here, here, that is uh, one of the impacts that this show has had, and we learn about these impacts all the time. I have just heard about how the number of students going to college, university, um, higher education, who want to be scientists, engineers, want to be uh, making the world a better place from what they can achieve, mm -hmm. has soared. And, and I was also told Star Trek Take, must take a lot of responsibility for that. Sure. Uh, uh, can I just say one thing that I sure. remember that was really moving to me? I don't know if I've told you this. I did a, a one-person tour uh, during the Bosnian War, and I was the first person who went in, and I'd never done anything like this. Yeah, I, I thought a whole group was going, and it turns out it was only me. And uh, so I was, they didn't really have facilities built. I was in a big bulletproof vest and everything in the Black Hawk helicopter with Apache escorts, and we're flying all over. And do you know that these men who had 80 pounds they were carrying, I can't tell you how many people had a Star Trek book that they asked me to sign. And this, this, this was incredible. And they all, when I walked into this one concrete factory that they were all staying in, full of dust and everything, they had a few instruments and they started playing our theme. And I went, wow, this is a this is a powerful, powerful thing, Star Trek. I love that. There is there is nothing better than being a part of something that you know has touched everyone's lives in some way. Oh, yeah. well, Star Trek Picard uh, will return for a third season, hopefully sometime next year. I don't think we have a premiere date yet, but uh, you can catch up with season one and two on Paramount Plus. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Yay.